people are cowed people are afraid and people are not united great britain is more disunited it is absolutely divided more than any time in its past well that was dailymail.com global columnist katie hopkins talking about the london terror attack on this show last week in response londoners just about lost their minds one called hopkins a gargoyle Piers Morgan called her a doom monger. She was even likened to a Nazi sympathizer by Harry Potter creator J.K. Rowling, who's an avid tweeter. She tweeted, quote, as Fox News and Katie Hopkins tell the world that terror is cowing London, I remember pro-appeasement U.S. Ambassador Joseph Kennedy in 1940, which makes her both very old and also a nonlinear thinker. What does that even mean? Is Katie intimidated by all of this? She joins us now to tell us. Katie Hopkins, thanks for coming on. Um, My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So apparently the column that you wrote um, and the conversation that we had were reported as hate crimes in Great Britain? Yes, that's absolutely correct. The column I wrote, uh, which was really quite heartfelt about walking through the city after the attacks, feeling ourselves being pushed under by a terrorist. It was kind of a soft, thoughtful piece. That's been reported repeatedly as a hate crime against this country. And Londoners have completely lost their mind about me speaking out, about me failing to stick to the song sheet that we've been issued. Because I don't say we stand united, because I will not say we are not cowed, because I'm speaking about, out about the fact that I believe this was all about Islamic terror and it sits with the Muslim community London has absolutely lost the plot. They are mad as a box of frogs. What happened to your island, which gave the world freedom of speech and was, you know, the embodiment of pluck and vigor and toughness and self-sufficiency and took over the whole world? And now you're being called a, a, a hate criminal and your, your Twitter is trying to censor you? Like, what happened exactly? Yeah, and that's nothing new for me. You know, these liberals will come at you any way they can. They report me to social services about my children. They have reported me to the Major Crime and Homicide Command. I've been interviewed under caution. That's kind of standard stuff for me. I don't mind. You know, J.K. Rowling writes for children, and she writes about a fantasy land. Now, she wants to believe a fantasy land where we're all getting on well together, and it's a brilliant, marvelous place, and it's absolutely fine, no problem, that someone mows down people as they cross a bridge. You know, we'll leave that up to J.K. Rowling. People have said to me, look, Katie, we survived the Blitz. You know, we can survive this. This is nothing. Well, you know, in the Blitz, we were fighting for something. We were defending our great country. As far as I see it, London, which is really Obama on steroids, London are accomplices in wanting this country to fail. And that's why you'll see on Wednesday, when we finally kickstart the process of leaving the European Union, the rest of the UK, which is essentially Trump town, where I belong, we are leaving the EU. We will stand defiant. We will stand up for Great Britain. London, Obama on steroids, completely different place, lost to the Liberals, who want to deny this attack had anything to do yes. with Islam at all, and in fact have come out on the other side saying we must stand up and defend the Muslim community. Well, and that is the difference between what's happening now and the Blitz. And the Blitz, of course, Great Britain was attacked uh, from another country, not from uh, within. So what, what's, what's been the response from the British government to this? It's been incredible, actually, to see this kind of diversionary tactics that are being used. You know, basic questions, difficult questions that we need answers. They're in my dailymail.com column um, that's up online right now. Difficult questions like, what happened in prison to that man to turn him from Adrian into Khalid? Why was he in Saudi for a number of short visits? He said he was teaching English. Mm-hmm. Why is it that the police are determined he was a lone attacker when, in fact, when he came back from Saudi, he went to live in an extremist community, living amongst a group that is now banned for being extreme in their nature? And why is it that he was on the periphery of MI5's intelligence, but he's not even on the list of 3,000 very dangerous criminals, homegrown terrorists waiting to attack within weeks? And I suppose the most difficult question of all, if Khalid is not on that list of 3,000 terrorists looking to attack within weeks, how many other Khalids are out there in this country that here, London, Obama on steroids, doesn't want to admit or be honest yeah. about?
But those aren't the questions I've seen raised. I've seen the British government claim that the rest oh, no. of us have too much privacy in our texting oh, and yeah. social media. And you know, is the questions they want. Of course, of course, they want to talk about you know what's up and did he send a message just before he decided <laughs> to to go over the bridge? You know, was he on Google? Did he need a lesson on how to yeah. stab people? Did he get that from Google? Anything diversionary tactics? They're of running course. around like ants in the sun under magnifying glass about, about a load of piffle and waffle to stop people like me asking the difficult questions, well, which is how many more Khalids are out there and how many more times are we going to get stood on? like a bunch of ants, because you know what ants do when they get stood on? They carry on as normal and they wait for the next footstep to <laughs> fall. And I refuse to be part of that. So we're almost out of time, but give me your one sentence response to J.K. Rowling. Darling, carry on writing your fantasy land books. If you think England is united, that's a fantasy as well. And seeing as you're such a big fan of migrants, why not spend some of your billions in homing those migrants while you're at it. <laughs> Katie, it's great to see you as always. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tucker.